You're gonna have to die. Ah, crap. <sighs> well, that went extremely well. Run from him. <laughs> Hello guys, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is returning to the save I got to from the little episode I did a few weeks back. So if you don't know when you haven't seen it, then by all means please go check that out. It's um, one of the ones where we unfortunately lost Jeb, RIP, and then we actually had the lovely pilot Vanessa take over um, to fill his shoes really, um, and continue the program's mission, which is potentially to get to the moon, or into deep outer space. Now, it's one of those ones where it got put on hold. I was wanting to do maybe a main series on this, but then, like I said, it was one of those... I had two main series going at one point, and I didn't want to have too many in one on, on my channel at the same time, so this got put on a little back burner until I finished Critical Annihilation, which has just recently been done, which I'm happy to say. And, yeah. So, I'm just trying to recap where we left off. Um, we lost Jeb. Vanessa, Vanessa did some stuff. Um, we've got all these missions that we need to do. Now, I've got quite a bit of money as well, luckily enough. So, let's just jump in and see. Now, I haven't got a spacecraft that's loaded up. Um, so, the missions we've got. We've got a whole um, RT-5 fleet, solid fuel, boosted into flight above Kerbin. Um, we've got a test RT-10 hammer, solid launcher. And then we've got a test uh, stack decoupler as well. So let's try and make one then, shall we? So that's what we're going to use there. Uh, what else? We've got a fuel tank. We've got the swivel liquid. Does the blue ones mean they're the ones that are part of missions? They're just stacked a couple. I haven't even got that one yet, I don't think. Hmm. Let's head back out. I think I need to actually... No, we don't, we don't want to save. What works in the game is you've got to research points. Um, where's the research station? Is that it? Astronaut complex. Ah, there we go. Research and development. That's it. So I've got to get the stat decoupler. Now, is that this one? So that's 18 science points for that and 20 for that one. Uh, we'll get that. Now, to get any of these next ones, we need quite a lot of points. And it's 45 science for each one. So what I'm probably going to do is go for general rocketeering uh, so we can at least get the thumper. We also get a bigger uh, fuel tank as well. Okay. So once we've got them, uh, how many missions we got? We've got a few, so three, four, five. We can get seven, but I'm going to go back into here for now. And the problem is when you give yourself too many missions, um, you kind of like lose focus on where you need to go from. So let's speed out here. So now I've got the stat decoupler, which is under there. So I've got to test that out. I've also got to try the flea solid, but I've got to have that flying. It's got between 37,000 feet and 44,000 feet, uh, traveling at 210 to 390 speed. That's going to be a bit hard, that one, because you always seem to travel a lot faster than that. Uh, what else we got here? Um, we've got the hammer as well, which is that one. And we're going to do that from, again, flying by the looks of it. Oh, no, launch site. Oh, okay, we can do that one. So, where's the hammer? There. Give me. So, we can test the hammer out. And then what else we got here? Then we got to test the st the stat stat decoupler, but we could be landed. So, what I probably will do is just test these from launch. So, I'll, I'll the stat decoupler just fall some off um, that we don't need. So, what have we got here? Because this is how you get extra money. And um, I'll be able to progress later on. Because... Uh, all, all these stuff costs money at some point. So what I'll probably do is just have some attached to there and have it fall off. Um, that we probably just don't need. I've got to test again this from launch anyway. So Can I just have this like there? And then we just have it fall off. Because you've got to test the static couple that, that landed. Then we're going to test the swivel liquid engine and the radial mount parachute as well. Uh, so where's the radial mount parachute on here? Did we get that one? Ah. So we need to grab, I think, two of them. Probably give us in a good stead. And we'll have also another parachute, because I'm not expecting to go too high up. So I'll drop I'll decouple this. Probably don't want to fire that, I don't think. So we decouple it straight away. We can then 
fire the rockets. Um, I'll get rid of that one. We can then fire these rockets and fly up in the air so far and then test these as we come back down because it says have the radar mount parachute at... Ah, so we actually got to get quite high on that one, haven't we? We might not be able to test this one on this run. We'll see how high we can get because that's 3,000 to 7,000 feet. Yeah. Trying to get these to line up precisely the way you want them, which is the probably sometimes the hardest part. No, I just want you to. What are you doing? Oh, I think I spun these around. That's why it's not working. Just bring these down a bit. There. That'll work. So, can I just pull one of these away? Right, so I want to just move one. Yeah, there we go. So, I want to test two out. So, which one's these ones? That one's. So I want these two to stay here, decouple those two, and then have these two move up into this section to fire with the main body. I think that'll work. Yeah. And those launch, those launch, those decouple don't do anything. Don't know how this is going to work. It may fail horribly, it may not. We'll try it out, but I just need to complete these missions. Now, that took me a bit of time longer than I should have done. Um, ooh, it's quite heavy, though. Don't know if that'll be able to launch across. Ah, yeah, so I'm unable to launch. So I need to actually upgrade the launch pad, I think. So this is taking longer than I thought. You see what I mean? The thing is with Kerbal Space Program, it's a lot of nitty-gritty stuff of messing around with the, the ship itself in order to get into flight. Tations I had about doing a video series on this is the fact that it requires a lot of um, different stuff. Now, we'll upgrade this. That means we can have more tonnage on there. Then we can come back in and then finish off. Now, I've got to watch who's piloting this because... Yeah, we don't want Bob, we want... Uh, no, it's Valentine, sorry, not... Where did I get... No. Oh. Yeah, Valentine's the one who's going to be piloting this. Not Vanessa. Where did I get Vanessa from? Is that from another series? I don't know. Right, so I think we're okay now. So I think we can launch. So these are okay. Let's try this out. You never know, it could fail. I only want the idea to be that I don't revert back. Um, but you don't know in some cases. So... These decouple, which should then pass that mission. These should all then fire, which hopefully these don't collide into me. Um, so let's try this. Let's put these on. They decouple. Did, did that work? And then I'm going to test it, haven't I? Yes, completed. Sweet. So over there, I'm going to get to 3,000 feet. Hopefully, this doesn't go too badly. Ah, God. There we go. Did, what's the next one? So. We've got to test the hammer rocket. We're going to be landed. Oh, we did that one though, didn't we? The test the stack coupler. Oh, so we're going to have this coming down at a bit lower um, one. So we've done that mission anyway. So which one's this one? We've completed the hammer launch site. So we can now ping them off. We're at 35,000 feet. That, that took us nearly out of the atmosphere. Actually, it will take us out of the atmosphere, I think. Or just. Yeah, 69,000 feet. Meters. Wow. And then we'll come back down, uh, hopefully not burn up. We completed that one. So how did... The thing is with some of these missions, they're very, very specific. So like the rate amount have to be between 3,000 and 7,000 um, meters. Um, and also be a speed of 210 meters per second and 280 meters per second. <laughs> and then we've got the swivel ones, which can't do anyway. Because um, I haven't got the swivel engine on. And I, I tested the static couple. What I I was landed, but it doesn't it didn't seem to work. To form this now stages. Oh no! Shit! The static couple is the other one. <laughs> uh, that's the radial one. So static couple is the ones that. Ah, oh, god damn it! I messed that one up. The static couple is actually the uh, one that goes in between the rockets, not the um, ones that I had. The radial decouplers, radial ones that are actually the physically. A jext of way. Bollocks! That made a massive mistake. And yeah, we're kind of a bit high speed here. Oh god. Oh god. I can't even test this. This is gonna go bad. Sorry, Vanessa. You're gonna have to die. Ah, crap. Ugh. Well, that went extremely well. Well, like I said, I'm going to just have to abort mission. 
Um, I'm not going to revert anywhere. We're just going to have to take the um, the crash. We've lost Valentine, unfortunately. And there's not much I can do. So I've lost quite a bit of money out of that as well. <laughs> uh, recover them. Recover that one. And there's nothing left uh, around which we can actually salvage. God damn it. Well, at least we completed that mission anyway. Uh, we didn't get any science, which is a bit annoying. Uh, right. So, we need to actually recruit another pilot, which this gets really expensive because you don't get to perform certain tasks without... Um, got 65,000 credits to actually... Um, or Kerbal credits to actually recruit someone. So, we're going to have to... Oh, so it's cheaper. Oh, it's good. Thank God for that. So, I guess it depends. The more you have, the more it's going to cost you. That's fine. Um, now, we need another pilot. Now, that one's got quite a bit of courage. There's only two pilots by the looks of it. So, I'm going to go for... Uh, Elin, or is it Elina? Elin? I'm going to go Elin. Elin Kerman. They all named Kerman, which is quite funny. They must be all brother and sisters. I'm not going to say anything more on that one. Uh, that may become a bit of a, more of a taboo subject. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you increase, the price increases the more Kerbins you have active, which is good. Cool. So that's not going to break the bank too much. Let's head back to the missions and see what else we can get. So we've got quite a few available. We've got um, radial stat. This is the couple of which is the one that's separated from the side, which I got mixed on. So we've got that one. We've got test uh, the MK parachute flight over Kerbin. How are you supposed to get to some of these speeds, which is quite interesting because... Unless you just fly up a bit and then hover yourself around. That's maybe something we could do. Um, we'll get that one then. And then we also we got the um, radial stat decoupler, which is splashed down. Fair enough. And what are the other ones? So we can't really do... Again, I'm not ready for the orbit. Uh, <laughs> not anywhere near yet. So we'll scrap this entire bit. Uh, we'll leave the parachutes on. Um, so we've got the stat decoupler is the other one. It's um, this one, which I just need to do. So I'll just test that very quickly, and that will get us um, that. So we don't want this to actually fire. We just want to test this. And then that'll be that. Let's go to launch site, test it out a couple of that gets the mission. We get some... Um, bing! We're done, complete. There we go. <laughs> just for doing that. And then you just recover vessel, and then you go back. Okay, right, that worked. Oh, no, I need to recover this, don't I? Recover. There we go. That was probably. I don't mind. I don't mind missions like that. They're really easy to do. Okay, so I've got. A, I always want to have a static couple on this little module, just for the fact of it makes it extremely light. No, I don't want Bill. Stop giving me Bill. I know he's a good engineer in that, but I need a better pilot. And we'll call this map point 2.1. I'm not original with names, and I'll admit that. <laughs> so we'll do that, and then we'll try this and get some more missions completed. Ooh, it's harder than I thought. This it's really. Ah. So let's get. Ooh, these ready. Now I don't want to shoot up too far because, like I said, I need to get to the between seven and f uh, not seven between four and eight thousand meters. Uh, eight, no, four and seven thousand meters. I need to get to this speed limit. But I'll try to go with this one first. And then we can focus on the one afterwards. So let's try this out. Let's deploy the other shoots then, shall we? <laughs> deploy! Deploy the shoots! Um, is that done it? No. Hey! No? So we've done the radial one, but I, it's the test this one part, which I've... Ah, oh, so I've got a bit of speeds of... 80 to 20, which I'm a bit... Let's see if we can get back up there. Let's go back up. Go up. Oh, I don't know how that's not going to burn, but... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, we can't really test that anymore. We're at... 
we're at the correct height, but <laughs> uh, between seven and eight, but it's not going to work anymore because that's been destroyed. Um, so we'll just get rid of that. That's just going to disappear, and then we should go back down because it's it's really difficult because you've got to get between twenty thousand and uh, two twenty meters per second and eighty meters per second, which is a very specific number. And it's quite there's only sixty meters per second difference. So if you don't get it quite close, then you're a bit screwed. Now hopefully these two parachutes will work in order to slow me down. So let's just speed up some time some more. Yeah, I'm not, not in a large ship, so I don't have to worry about that. So I should start slowing down a bit now. Um, oh, that exploded quite a lot. Let's get these out before I just crash. Right, so we got one mission completed out of that one. So we got the 21,000 um, credit reward and two science plus some reputation. Um, it was that one I wanted to get done, though. That's it. It's that fine, neat finish that you've got to do. Oh. So we'll get down, we'll try it again, um, we'll go from there. What do we need to get to? So it's between the two, isn't it? 4,000 and 8,000. Yes, done it! <laughs> oh, I just had to fire everything in one go. This is going to take me bloody ages to get down, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. That works in my favour. Uh, so we got that one completed as well, which gives us 28,000. Wow, that's actually quite a lot of money. Nice. Oh, so we got some missions done. I'm happy with that. That's the thing when you're trying to focus on having too many missions, like I said before, and you can get quite cluttered, and then you're trying to complete too many at once, and then you miss the ones that are quite easy. Uh, but this is going to take me quite a long time to get down, unfortunately, so uh, hopefully these don't break because uh, we're quite high up. We're 5,000 meters in the air. Um, but that one's done, so I'm happy with that. This one I'm not sure about, the splashdown, and then I can do the other ones next time. Oop, well, that crashed. Well, I'm going to call it here, guys, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, then a like would much appreciate it. If you have any hints or tips or any general feedback on the game, then please leave them in the comments below, and I'll always appreciate them. Again, if you've not watched the first episode, then I do highly recommend you do that, and I'll put a link again in the video in the top um, screen somewhere, uh, a little link there, and also in the description just so you can check it out. And if you guys really want to help me out, then by all means subscribe to the channel. Again, it does help me, and it does emphasize that you want me to continue making videos like this. And yeah, and check out any other videos I do in the top right, the little eye there, give that a click. And again, I say this every episode, but generally I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers, that's the main idea for me, the main focus at the moment. Now 200 for some people is not a lot, for me it's amazing, I'll be extremely happy and I've got an idea planned for maybe getting to 200. It's not going to be, I think, massive, but you never know. But yeah, until next time guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye! Oh, oh he's not too tough actually. Come here, fallen soldier. Ooh, stuck. Uh, it's like you can't.